Hello, Calvary Chapel, Old Town. My name is Gerardo Sanchez, uh, and we're we're starting a new way to get to know each other, to interact, to know how you're doing at home during this time of uh, quarantine. Um, so we're gonna call these videos uh, the Hangout with the Old Town. Um, so we're going to call Garrett Marin. It's Marin. He is the youth pastor of our church. And uh, we want to know what, what's up with him, what's up with his family, how they've been dealing with uh, all this time of um, uh, stay at home, stay safe. And um, so let's see. We're going to call him right now. Let's see what happens. Hey Gary, how you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? Uh, here we're trying something new to connect with the people of CCOT. Uh, how you guys been? I heard that you you have been about ten days in your house already. Yeah, um, t today was probably one of the more. I got out of the house today um, for one of the, the first times. I went down to church. Um, but other than that, yeah, I think my wife, Chelsea, she's been in the house now for probably, probably like 14 days. So, and I've only been out maybe once or twice just to go to the store. So yeah, we've been, uh, when you went to church, uh, Chelsea was at the house. Yes. And yep. now you're in the house and Chelsea's out. So that's how you guys <laughs> trying to manage this situation. Yeah. Cool. Today just so happens to be that way, but I think she, she might be back. And, in a few minutes, so and then we'll both be in the place. <laughs> oh, that's kind of interesting. So, what is the hardest part for you guys to be at home so for so long? Um, probably one of the hardest things that I've come across is just trying to find the best way to use my time. Um, so because I've been finding my myself just kind of bored or um, running out of things to do, so it, just, it almost seems like um there just isn't enough i guess to keep myself busy throughout the day even as a, a student and keeping up with all my my work schedule stuff it still seems like during my downtime i'm just bored <laughs> your, your class still on you still taking classes yes so two of my classes were already online so that doesn't change those classes too much but the one class that i had that met in person we've actually been meeting through video conferences and having classes like that. And then we still turned all of our assignments in online, so that part didn't change. But now it's a matter of seeing everyone in the, the video conferencing. What are you taking classes for? Uh, I'm taking classes to, I guess, some, get some kind of um, certificate or degree um, in theology. So I'm taking classes at Calvary Chapel, Costa Mesa's Bible College. Oh. Um, Nice. Yeah, so I've been having a lot of I've been having a lot of good learning and growing from that, and it's been a really good experience for the last I've been going for the last couple of years now. So it's been a blessing to be a part of that. What's your favorite subject? As I've been going to the Bible College, one of the classes that I really enjoyed, which was probably one of the first classes I ever took there, was just a a class on the Book of Genesis, uh, and that was such a great uh, class to have just in a, I guess, in a classroom setting and to really learn about that book uh, in that way. And that was, that was a lot of fun just to go through Genesis like that. So, and so now that you're taking classes at, at home, what, are you like a, a, do you use slippers at home or you walk in your shoes and your, in your sock or you just bare foot? How do you, how do you work that situation since you're yeah. at home? <laughs> um, yeah, the, the other day, I actually, yesterday, I had my classes yesterday on you know, Mondays. I actually had to remind myself to go put a shirt on because I was just in like a, like a tank top. Oh, like, I was like, oh, well, uh, so I was like, well, if I'm probably going to be seen by other people on cameras, I probably should have a, a half decent shirt on. Um, but yeah, no, uh, I've been yeah, keeping. This is not the Genesis. You got to wear clothes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I'm probably just using, wearing sandals around the house lately, which is kind of nice. What are you wearing now? Uh, jeans. I've got, I got my Toms on. So these oh, are okay. Cool. So you're ready to roll out if you have to. Yeah. Cool. 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 So 
the house, this is one of my, my, my topics. Like I, I'm really like a organized dude. So my question is with two people in the house, two adults in the house, the house is more organized or is more messy? I think it's a little bit of both. Uh, uh, it's usually starts or end, I usually start the day or end the day very organized. But with our little one, Chloe, in the house, throughout those two times, it gets very messy. Um, but usually, it starts or ends very organized. So, <laughs> so it, we see both sides of, of that coin. Uh, but we, we keep the place pretty well kept. Right now, I'm in my daughter's room right now, and it's kind of a mess in here. Well, that was because we were playing with her train set earlier, and so now all those pieces are all over the place. But it'll be clean Is later. that your daughter's favorite? game or is yours favorite game um she right now her big thing is like stuffed animals so we have all the different like we have we're actually missing only one at this point but she likes all the the mickey mouse characters so she she loves donald duck and daisy so she likes playing with the, her little stuffed animals and kind of doing stuff with them um but I'm, I'm still in the process of unpacking because we just moved not too long ago. So I actually have two tubs just sitting right here next to me that still need to get unpacked. And they're just of her toys. So earlier today, she was trying to go through them and see what toys were in there. So and some of the pieces we pulled out were the, the track for her train. So Chloe, Chloe is your only daughter. And how old is she? She's two. She's just two. So is, is she a challenge? Like you got, but you guys are able to go out for a walk too, right? Yeah, yeah. Talking I've been taking her out on like walks through our neighborhood. Um, it was actually kind of funny. The, the first time I tried it, I was walking down the sidewalk, and the area that I'm at, there's it, there are big sidewalks, and there's usually grass along the side. And some lady was walking towards me, and I kind of thought to myself, of, "Oh, I got to keep my six feet." But if they're walking right towards me, I can't really take my daughter and her wagon like off the sidewalk, but they were just walking with the dog. They could easily walk along the side if they wanted to. Right. Um, but they came right towards me and I totally heard them say under their breath as I passed them, they're like, oh, you got too close. And I thought it was kind of funny. I was like, well, you could have moved too. I don't, I don't know what you want me to do with my <laughs> daughter. The yeah, you are welcome. You had to right away. Yeah. What are you guys cooking at home? Where is that? Uh, you, you guys have like a, like a, how you call, like something that you always hand, like, I don't know, we use a lot of rice in here. Or yeah. So everything goes with uh, rice and pasta. Yeah, so I've been doing all the shopping lately. Uh, Chelsea has asthma, and after we talked to her doctors, they thought she might be considered, was high risk uh, for getting the coronavirus. So yeah. she's been staying in the house and she's been working from home. And then as, I, as we need to, I'll go out. But when I went last went to the store, the only option they had for rice was a 25-pound bag of rice. <laughs> Chelsea was like, you know, get it just in case because we'll eventually go through all of it depending right. on what this whole thing goes through. But I, so I have now 25 pounds of, of jasmine rice. Um, but since we've been home, Chelsea's actually just been doing a lot more, like just cooking in the, in the kitchen. So she actually makes amazing homemade pizzas and we just we made those oh, nice. Sunday and just kind of eating them for leftovers um which I had it? no 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 we don't put any rice on it but she puts uh she has, um my favorite kind of pizza is actually with a white sauce so and she makes pizza oh, with white sauce. that's good stuff yeah that's delicious um Chelsea or excuse me Chloe also likes hot dogs so we had hot dogs a couple nights ago I actually have this it's basically a toaster, but for hot dogs. So you put like the hot dog in the little hot dog hole and then it cooks it just like you would a toaster. So we make hot dogs like that. I love using that thing. Um, let me ask you a question about your ministry. What's been the hardest part for you as the youth pastor with your ministry? And, and this, yeah. you know, with what's going on right now. This is my wife, Holly. She, this is her time for cleaning right now. Where are you going wait? <laughs> Uh, I, I would say one of the hardest things for me personally, as as I've been trying to I, to adapt and transition to, I guess, everyone being at home, is I really miss all my students and being able to see them really two, three times a week. So I would see my kids Wednesday night for Bible study, and Friday nights we would have youth group, and then Sundays we'd always get together for church services, and then afterwards, you know, go out for lunch or grab a bite. So it's just been really hard not being able to just have that 
fellowship with my kids. Uh, we've been able to have Zoom meetings and meet that way and still discuss God's word, which is such a great way to still be able that we have that resource. But I love just to be able to really just spend the time in fellowship with people physically because it, it doesn't always feel the same, I guess, doing it over. So how do you connect phone. with them? You, you have a Facebook page or how do you, you have a text uh, group or how do you do it? So people yeah, can I have a how to contact you. Yeah. So I have some like group chats going with all the different kids and some of the parents. And then I also have been meeting uh, in zoom which is like a video app thing where everyone come in and um, like connect like a camera and mic and then they can meet. So we've been able to still meet and talk about uh, the Bible. And I usually share a Bible story with them and then we all just kind of sit down together and discuss, you know, what, you know, different things we can learn about the characters that we see in those stories. So we've been still been able to meet that way, which has been a blessing that we can, we still can do that. So if somebody wants to connect with you, uh, uh, call you or text you or maybe the the office or something like that if any junior high or high school students want to or parents of high school or junior high students want to get involved in doing this i know on the church website there's actually a basically a little flyer thing you fill out on the website and then that information goes to the church office and then eventually it gets to me and i you probably get in contact with you about signing up and uh, meeting times that i have with all the different students but yeah, if people are able to contact me through Facebook, just through my, my personal page, or if anyone has um, access to my phone number, uh, they can easily call me and uh, give me a call about joining. And I'd love to have more people come and join us for the Zoom Bible studies because I've been really enjoying them. Awesome. Hey, uh, do you have any verse or any Bible passage you would like to share with the CCOT family before we yeah. have this conversation? Let, yeah. let, let, let me let me help you with that. Just come over here. You, you come over here, little one. Yeah. So you, she is the representation of a uh, of CCOT. So you had to share a verse with her, as like you had to imagine that she is like the congregation and the whole church. Yeah. So th this has always been one of my um, favorite verses. So as I came across it, to me, it's always been a great encouragement. It's Romans one sixteen. It says this. It says, "For I am not ashamed of the gospel." For it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also the Greek. So to me, it's always just been a great reminder of God does give us salvation. And, and that's not ex excluding anyone. That's opening and welcome to whoever is willing to receive that. So to me, that's always just been such a great uh, verse to, to have and stick by. That is a really cool verse. All right, Gareth, thank you so much for your time, man. Yeah, uh, thank appreciate you. it. All right. All See right. you later. Keep cooking and, uh, you know, pizza with rice or whatever you guys do with it. All right. All right, man. <laughs> so, yeah. See you later.